Let's take a look at the grid then for the last round of the European Rallycross Championship for Supercars. Round five, Riga in Latvia. On the front row, Rainy Snittich on the pole. The European Rallycross champion, can he take the win or will Christian Sabo take his debut victory here? Sabo, of course, was second last time out in France, was gutted not to take the win. Anton Markland, if he hadn't had a bad weekend in Sweden, he'd have been right in the fight and he's been great today. Rennie Munich, I think this year has been brilliant for Rennie. He's done, it just seems so much quicker than he has in previous seasons. And at the back, Cyril Raymond and Sondra Evgen. Evgen on his debut in the Polar, running with JC Race Technic, normally one of the RX2 drivers. And uh, great to see him up in a supercar final for the first time. Just made it in the semis, well, didn't he? Super close between him and Dubourg. I'm expecting fireworks in this one, to be quite honest. Yeah, there's all... It's... Randy's wants to win at home, doesn't he? But at the end of the day, nobody else minds now. The championship's done. Let's get a second. quick guys in this pack as well. So Markland in that tricky starter position that Backrup was in. Cyril Raymond also kind of boxed in at the back, but they're there to pick up the pieces if there are pieces in the first corner. The crowd want to see Nitish win at home. Can he get away clean? He does. Nitish and Sabo side by side. Markland the great launch from Road 2, but they shut the door early. Nitish should get the inside line here through the first corner. Sabo tries to slot in behind. Markland's going to go P3. Munich can't find a way around. Cyril Raymond has managed to move up from uh, P5 to P4 already. Sondra Epson slots into sixth place. Markland doesn't look up the inside of Sabo. And now, oh, Markland's going to get past Sabo. Markland, Sabo. Side by side. Markland contact with him. Sabo goes deep. So Sabo's not going to take the win here. Raymond up the inside into P2. Markland drops down the third. And that has played into Nitish's hands at home. The crowd will go nuts when they see him come around the last corner. They will, but Cyril Raymond has looked out there. He has absolutely landed with it in his hands now because for Sabo and Markland to get tangled like that and run deep into that corner, Cyril Raymond, who's on the back rolling ridge, he's now in P2. Oh, great stuff, kept himself out of trouble. In the joke lap already is Rennie Munich. Raymond with a bit of pressure behind from uh, Anton Markland. Zabo, I feel a little bit sorry for Zabo, but to be fair, Markland was a good two-thirds up the inside there, so maybe Zabo shouldn't have shut the door into turn Yeah, four. I don't think so, maybe either. He should have let it go and uh, raced. OK, so Cyril trying to chase down Nittich. Nittich with a one-second lead. The crowd, you can hear, each time he goes past, our cameras are in different positions. When they go past a ground down full of people, you hear the crowd. It's one of my favourite things to hear. Lars, Raymond locking a wheel on the way down into the left-hander. And he is close. Look, he's only 1.1 off the back of Nittich, but there's four laps to go, Guy. You know, can he do it from here with a bit of tactics? Well, he's got to close the gap to start with, then he's got to start to think about tactics, because if he doesn't close that gap, it's not going to happen, you know? There's a good second gap there at the moment. So even if he chokes, and you can see these three are going to there's a change, it's probably, there's a train, sorry. It's probably Markland, if he gets on the back of uh, Cyril Raymond, he's the one that might joke at first because he's not quite close to the gap, Cyril Raymond on the race. Look what's up for grabs too, Markland versus Raymond, look, 101 to 100 points, and we can see Markland uh, in second place, Raymond in third, so P2 still up for grabs in this one. Cyril Raymond. It's really he's fantastic. He's, Persia, he's yeah. down under a second now. He was 1.1 before, and it's uh, Raymond. Uh, yeah, Rennes nine Nittis seconds back. Just responded. He did this, didn't he? Do you remember in the semi final? He chased down, chased down the car behind, made pressure, pressure, pressure until they made a mistake and he managed to slot up the inside. He's a very cool, calm operator. But if there's one person that knows this track better than anyone else, it's that man in the lead. I've got to be honest. Do you want to see Nittis win at home? Raymond won at home. I'd love to see Nittis yeah, win at home. That's my favourite. Go berserk. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. I think Raiders will go pretty berserk later as well if he takes a win here. So uh, it would be nice. Of course, last year, Johan Christophson won the World Rallycross Championship here in Latvia and stood on the top step of the podium as well. To, to take a championship with a win, guys, extra special, isn't it? Especially on home soil. Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, even better. Isn't Raymond's it? coming back, he's trying at him, but he just can't close the gap. He's eight tenths is the closest he's got. We can see it here for our own eyes. And obviously, Markland, he's something similar behind Raymond, so it's just none of them can eat into each other's advantage. I imagine the teams have done the maths already and they'll know, won't they, for Markland now with Sabo out of the picture. Uh, Sabo is still circulating, he's back 10 seconds from the leader, about three seconds off the back of Munich. And Sondra Evgen up into P4, so Sondra Evgen P4 hasn't jokered yet. This is, of course, about skill behind the wheel, but it's much about mental strength as well. Not making a mistake, you mean under Absolutely. pressure? Absolutely. Yeah. What do you, can you help as a spot or have you just got to leave them to it? Uh, help as much as you can just to say that you're doing a good job, but no distractions. So if Raymond can take the win here, he would take with it, I think, the championship, because of course he's only 
back from Raymond. So, no, sorry, Raymond needs to take the win. If he takes the win, he's only one point back from Markland and he would take P2 in the championship. So that's why, of course, he's so desperate as well to get up onto the back of Nittish, apart from the fact he just liked winning guy. Absolutely, and there's uh, a lap and a half to go, but uh, Cyril Raymond's driving the car a lot more direct than Rennes. Nittish Rennes is just moving around a little bit. If, if uh, Nittish doesn't go, Raymond has to, because otherwise he's got to pass him on track. So if Nittish doesn't go, yeah, and he does, he does. Absolutely. So Cyril Raymond and, and Anton Markland both go joker this time. Markland knows all he's got to do is follow him home. Struggling. Markland there with a problem on the way into it the, into the right. This deal, wasn't it? So Markland as well doesn't need to lose a position because if he loses a position, they're equal on points, then it'll go on count back. I don't even want to get into that. So Markland falling a little into the clutches of Mooney behind. Evshin has dropped back now. The joker laps have played out and it's going to come down to Rainis Nittish. Can he do it? Can he do it? Well, Markland's Markland struggling. It was around the, uh, the right hand that he was struggling, so let's watch, they're all left here now, but at the same time, he's dropping in the clutches of Rennie Munich, actually. So Cyril Raymond is 3.6 seconds back. We know that the joker lap here is tricky. Nittish comes up over the jump, the crowd is starting to hold their breath. Look at the gap. He's the European Rallycross champion, but can he take the win here at home in Latvia as here well? We go. He's got the right-hander to go into the apex, gets it in tidy, watching for Cyril Raymond on the standard lap. Nittish over the jump, the crowd is starting to stand up in the back of the grandstands, the Latvian flags are flying. Rainis Nittish, the European Rallycross champion for supercar, takes the championship and the win at home in Latvia. Fantastic! Yes, Rainis! What a feeling he must <laughs> have inside him now. Um, I, I feel great for him, you know? Yeah. That's how you want to see it done. Yes, go on, Rainis! The tires don't matter anymore, <laughs> as long as he keeps enough rubber on them to make sure he's overweight. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. He'll be, he'll be on the roof of that car, I guarantee you, in a minute. Uh, look at this. Go on, Rain, it's on the roof. Lap it up. Lap it up. All the lights are on on the safety vehicles in the middle of the track. The ambulances, the fire engines, and all of the lights. You see the fireworks. He's so pleased, and rightly so. It's a brilliant, brilliant victory for Nittish at home in Latvia. Not only the race win, Cyril Raymond, the first to congratulate him, because Raymond knows how highly tried. Anton's there too, they're brilliant. That's your podium, ladies and gentlemen, for the 2018 European Rallycross Championship for supercars. Nittish wins it from Raymond and Markland. Munich, Evgen and Sabo. Great job by Evgen on his debut in a supercar. Fantastic performance from the RX2 driver. Goes to show what a good support captain that is as well. But the top three here are the top three in the championship. Markland taking second from Nittis. I think we're going to see the standings in just a moment. Brilliant. Look, he's, he's, he's done the roof again. Yeah, but Rainis Nittis, if he was ever in any doubt, it's a small country, Latvia. He knows this country has been behind him this weekend. Amazing, amazing. Nittish takes it. Markland look, holds on to second place by one point from Cyril Raymond. And uh, I'll tell you what, well done, Cyril Raymond, because he missed the first round. Be fair to Nittish, even if he won it with 30 points, look, Nittish would have edged him in theory over the course of the season. So, a, a, a massively deserving European Rallycross champion. And look at the talent down that list. It's a brilliant series.